All right, so every single day, literally every single day, in any of my tweets, I receive replies like this, or I just get tagged like this on Twitter. People who um, have Meliodas and they cannot beat the first stage of the bird. I feel like I always focus a lot on the third floor because to me and to everyone else, I don't assume me, it's the hardest one. So I always, when I'm recording my gameplay, never really focus on explaining floor one for people that aren't using any Power Strike characters. Like this individual here, he's using a team I'm not of much <laughs> approval of. Uh, <laughs> though this was my latest example. I received tweets like these multiple times a day of people saying they cannot beat floor one. And I'm here to explain why you can't beat Floor 1 with the characters you're using, not because of the characters, but because you're playing it incorrectly. I'm not saying you're bad at the game, right? If, 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 it's, if, if it's you, I'm the one that, I don't want to uh, disencourage you uh, from keep trying. I'm just I'm going to explain to you why you're not beating it. So this individual here, um, complaining they don't have the healing card set, they don't have Red Matron, and that's why they can't beat Floor 1. Incorrect. The reason why you're not beating floor 1, as I, the full picture here, he only hit like 1 damage cap on the 4th um, phase, and that's a lot of pictures I receive. People just can't, like they get to f uh, phase 4 and they can't do damage with the new Meliodas. I'm here to explain why. So, I'm gonna copy the team this individual is using. Um, I don't approve of this team because there's no taunt. If you're gonna beat this, um, no taunt or heal. Replace this Margaret, if you're going to use a similar team like this, replace this Margaret with Green Liz. And you're going to have a far superior team. Just for the sake of re replacing this guy's team, I'm going to be using this. I'm going to be weakening myself by using Margaret and Ascon with HP defense, but I will be using Meliodas with attack crit. Because I think if you're not using Meliodas with, a with UR gear, go back to the drawing board, get UR gear for him, and then try it. I'm... I'm I'm not going to entertain the idea that someone that isn't prepared to beat the hardest activity in the game should be complaining that they can't beat it, alright? <laughs> give, at least Meliodas, give your argument to him. Here's why these individuals can't do it. I'm not using the healing card set either. This is a very easy card set to have had. If you don't have this one, there's many others you can do. You can just not use that card set at all. Here's floor one and why you're not beating it. Again, weakening myself by giving HP defense to all my characters, except Milius, because I'm... And I'm not using Sauriel Link, I'm not using uh, Tarmiel Link. Um, here's why you're not beating it. I see uh, every single picture I see on Twitter of people tagging me that they can't beat Floor, um, floor 1 Phase 4. They are just not saving cards for it. They think that they can click that you can't click all of mind. They think that they can just spam cards the whole way through and they'll be just fine when it comes to the last phase and that's just not true. You have you have a duty to save cards for the last phase and I found the the reason why I haven't been, you know, explaining strategies for the first stage was because I thought that was common knowledge. Because this stage has been out for a little while now, but a lot of people still don't understand. Again, don't recommend this team I'm using. This team is really bad. You don't want to use Margaret of Meliodas because she doesn't have single targets. I'm literally using a team I, am, I have complete disapproval of just to show you, all right? If you're going to be using the one of Meliodas, don't worry about the one's cards. The only way the one's going to be doing damage on the last phase anyways is if he crits. That's it. He's not going to be doing damage with his even with his ultimate. Even at 6-6, six, six, he won't be doing damage on the last phase unless he crits. Right here, I'm getting tremendously terrible luck. So that's great. Um, you want single targets for Meliodas. For the last phase, you want to have as many level 3 single targets for Meliodas as a human you can. This team right here has Margaret, so having a Margaret level 3 would also be very ideal. Not counting on it, because luck can always be absolutely fantastic or terrible. Right now it's being terrible, 
because I'm not getting any rank ups or melee single targets, as you can see. So I'm not going to be counting on that. But I got Margaret's ultimate. I got Askenor's ultimate. I'm still rushing through because I need to waste cards to get melee single targets. And if I don't get another melee single target right here, I'm just going to quit, I think. Uh, maybe not. I got a rank up. So let me do this. Right here. And this is me wasting cards so that I can get single targets for Meliodas. People are coming to this stage and using melee single targets and wondering why they're not doing damage in the phase 4. Bro, I got zero single targets! Alright. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> this game. I swear. So here's what I'm gonna do. Since I am here. Th this is the worst luck you can possibly have on this stage. And I'm still gonna beat it. <laughs> Not because my units are any better than yours, it's just... I, am, I have not a single time... Bro. I haven't got a single melee single target. I have not a single time, first off, wasted a, a Margaret blue card. You want to have a level 3 for the last phase. You don't want to just use your blue cards like they're nothing if you're going to be using Margaret. I have not used a single melee, melee single target because I was waiting for the last phase. I'm not going to waste that. So these are just things you got to do if you want to beat this stage. If you're playing the stage incorrectly, guess what? You're not gonna beat it. And I'm gonna use this video. I finally got one melee single target. I'm gonna use this video to send to every single person who tags me, saying that they can't beat floor one, phase four. Again, this Margaret team sucks ass. I don't <laughs> recommend using it. The only thing that it has brought to me was level 3 Margaret blue card. But a taunt card is way better because then you can actually beat the next stage much more easily. Or green Liz for the, the heal. You got no healing here. Now, let's do this without Margaret and with green Liz. Again, same scenario, HP defense on Escanor, and HP defense on all my characters. And I'm saying it again, if, you're, if you don't have UR gear for Meliodas, you should not be trying this. If you don't have UR gear, for, it doesn't have to be 15%. If you don't have UR gear for Meliodas, go back, make UR gear for him before attempting the end game of this particular video game. You are not meant to be trying this if you don't have UR gear for any of your characters. Especially Meliodas. Like, I don't think you need UR gear for any other character except Meliodas, but if you don't have UR gear for Meliodas, this is not a stage you should be attempting. Like, legitimately, it's just... It's, it's a progression, it's an RPG. If you start out the game, and you play for a little bit, and then you just try to do the hardest activity in the game, you're not meant to beat it. <laughs> It's just not meant to beat it, you know? And I think that's a big issue. But in the particular case of a lot of people that tag me, they have your gear for Meliodas. They have your gear for all the characters. They, they just don't know the concept of saving cards and not just spamming whatever they have to beat the stage. Because for the most part here, right? You're going to be taking some damage here and there, but if you're playing melee correctly, by the last stage, you're not even taking damage because of damage reduction. Like here, you will see, I haven't even mentioned this because I've mentioned every single melee video, but every single turn, I use two single target cards to stack melee's passive. It's not, it's not happening randomly, I'm doing that on purpose. Every single turn, I use exactly two single target cards so I can get one stack of melee, and I don't waste all my single targets, so the next turn, I can do it again. An extra uh, rank up. This time around, I don't have to worry about rank ups as much because I don't have Margaret. 
I would love not to use Melee's ultimate because my melee is 6-6 six, six, and that's something that a lot of people don't have. I'm assuming that's something most people don't have. Um, what do I want to waste here? I guess I'll waste this card. So if I'm going to waste that card, at least I'm going to get a buffer melee. Not preferable. I'm going to waste these cards, which again, not, pre not preferable, but it is what it is. Ascular's ultimate should only be used as a means to um, beat earlier phases than phase 4, by the way. Ascular's ultimate is never for phase 4. I use it for phase 4, hoping to crit, which most of the time doesn't happen. Most of the time, I get very, very disappointed on Ascular, not critting. I'm actually going to do this. Oh, but my Ascular is going to definitely kill. Hmm... Most of the time, I get very, very disappointed on Askinor because he doesn't crit. And they end up doing no damage. I only use Askinor's damage to progress through the other phases, not for the last one. This is a phase you want to kill relatively fast. Um, just due to the fact that he removed buffs. But. So long as you have a character that's supposed to be taking damage, like a taunt, shouldn't be the worst. The the worst, but Liz should be the target. Either Liz or Green Guffer should be the target, anyways. If it is Melee, then I guess we'll get the Melee buffs again. But it is Melee. That's completely terrible for me. Absolutely horrible. The literally the worst case scenario. It is what it is. I don't want... Okay, let's do this for you. Next turn... He will be very low and I'll finish him with Melee's ultimate. I know, very low. Something that 1-6 Melee could do. Very unfortunate that he's targeting Melee, actually. This is why a taunt is very nice. Or having Askrim's ultimate for this. I got stuck with a lot of melee, a lot of uh, Liz cards, which is very unfortunate. All right, I could use some Askrim cards right here. Should have ulted with Liz. You see here, this right here. Is what you're looking for. Alright. Not the best case. But. It is what it is. The level 3 will do damage. The level 2 will do damage as well. Miss both crits. Love to see it. Nice. We got another card for him. I'm trying not to use his ultimate. Because in this phase, 1 6 is not going to do damage. Using Ascaron's attack just for melee. Just for melee buff. Uh, and he'll have 5 buffs here. And I'm going to hope the next turn I'm going to get a rank up. Thank you for the crit. Much appreciated. Rank up, rank up, rank up, rank up, rank up. No rank up. Love that. Look at these Liz pointless cards. Um. Yeah, Melee's aren't already gonna have five buffs anyways, doesn't matter. Uh, don't wanna use Melee's single target. I'm gonna waste the Askner card. Thanks for the crits. Um, 
Rank up. Rank up. Please give rank up. Please give rank up. No rank up. But you see the damage reduction? <laughs> that ultimate did nothing. Yeah, this point doesn't matter. He doesn't have the, the obscene defense anymore. It's fine to just use Askenor's ultimate. My HP defense, Askenor, Askenor is gonna do a... Uh, is gonna do damage cap, probably. Basically. After... What was that? Three turns, it doesn't matter. He loses the, uh, the defense. Not the best runs, because I got absolutely shafted both times, especially the first run, but here it is. Here's how you beat phase one, uh, floor one, phase four, no Matronin, no healing card, just melee.